The hardest thing about mastering the English language is learning our proper use of slang. Years ago, I had a crew working down on Tuxedo Drive in Buckhead, you know, the most, the richest neighborhood in Atlanta. And anyway, it was a hot day, and I had a guy working down there who was from Argentina. He'd only been in the country a couple of weeks. It was a hot day, so the lady brought out a tall pitcher of lemonade for him to drink. He took a sip of it and said, oh, man. She goes, you like that, don't you? And he said, oh, yeah, this is good shit. Now, the word shit has been around for a long time. Many historians trace it back all the way to the 14th century, and many of them believe it originated on the cargo ships. Back in those days, they used to ship manure, and when the manure would get wet, it would release a toxic gas. So the crew didn't have to smell the gas, they would place the manure high up on the ship. So when it arrived on the dock, it was labeled Ship High in Transit, or S-H-I-T. I bet you didn't know that, Al, did you? Nope, you got me with that one. I got you with that one. <laughs> Other people say, well, it just showed up in the 1500s in England, and the word simply means to defecate. Wherever the word came from, for over 400 years, shit meant shit. But in the late 1960s with the counterculture, shit began to take on a whole new meaning. Now today, it's synonymous with almost everything we say. I mean, there's good shit, bad shit, tight shit, loose shit, rough shit, tough shit. There's the animal variety, chicken shit, horse shit, bull shit, and my personal favorite, happy horse shit, whatever the hell that is. You can stand in shit, step in shit, sit in shit, be shit on, be shit at, be a shithead, be a shit ass, be shit out of luck, or just be plain shitty. You can want the shit, I need the shit, who's got the shit, where can I get the shit? You cannot want the shit. I don't need the shit, I can't use the shit, quit doing that shit, I'm not doing the shit, and quit talking shit. There's a piece of shit, pile of shit, mountain of shit, shit load, not enough shit, too much shit. You get too much shit, you're going to get tired of the shit. You get tired of the shit, and then you're going to get sick of the shit. You can know your shit, not know your shit, forget your shit, remember your shit, and who the hell is jack shit? Everybody talks about this guy, but nobody seems to know who the hell he is. You can stash your shit, you can pack up and move your shit. When you're moving your shit, someone can steal your shit. You can get your shit back and get the shit to where it's going. Once you get the shit there, well, then you can lose your shit. If you lose your shit, you got to find your shit. And once you found your shit, you can get your shit together. How about that shit? Yeah, man. <laughs> Anna Getz, the owner of the Corkscrew Cafe, is here tonight. Comedian Mia Jackson is here. We also have a episode of the Hippy Dippy Classic Album Review with Rachel Jordan. So, hell, it's time to watch Chris Massey Show. Get your beer and relax. We'll be right back.